Check if the scene is safe. Ask if he is okay. Are you okay? Check for breathing. Check for breathing. Somebody call 911! Tell someone to call 911 and to get an AED. Then, start compressions. Your compression should be 30 to 2. So once you do 30 compressions, you should then deliver two breaths. You should do two sets of compressions before you get the AED. <laughs> Once the AED has been delivered, you should pull it over to you and turn it on. You need to take out the adult pads if it is an adult. Place them on the body. Tell everyone to stand back. And then wait for it to say deliver shock. Deliver the shock. If someone is choking, you should ask if they are choking and then tell them that you are going to help them. You should then perform the thrusts until they pass out. You should lower them to the ground and make sure their head does not hit. Once you get them there, you should be ready to start compressions, but first, call for help. Say to call 911 and to get an AED for the person. After delivering compressions, you need to check and see if the object is in their mouth. <laughs> if you come across an unconscious baby, you should check and see if it is okay. Then, you should check for breathing. If the baby is not breathing, you need to start compressions right away. Babies are different than adults, but you still need to do 30 compressions and two breaths. Repeat this four more times and then call 911. If your baby is choking, you need to hit its back five times, but make sure that it's secure across your arm and that its head is not bouncing around. After you have delivered it five times, you need to flip your baby over and do five compressions. Repeat until the baby passes out. Once your baby has stopped breathing and oh, no, has passed out, you need to lay it down on a flat surface and then start compressions One, right away. Five, ten, thirty compressions. Do that four more times and then call nine one one.